everybody. I just want to take a minute and show you the Lilla Rose bobby pins. These things have the most incredible hold that I have ever, ever seen. Um, my daughter used to dance, and of course, I've had long hair most of my life, so very familiar with bobby pins and how they work and, and what to do with them. I've never really thoroughly been impressed with bobby pins. In fact, I have spent hours seeking out a good, strong bobby pin for dance class. Well, She's not doing dance anymore, but um, she did do gymnastics last season, and um, we had a, a little fun meet, and, well, she's not with me, so I can't show you her hair, but she has long, straight-ish, kind of wavy hair, um, about a little longer than halfway down her back, and she's eight years old, so I twisted her hair up into a bun, just like we normally do, and put in five Lilla Rose bobby pins, the classic bobby pins for the meat with no rubber bands and that held for five hours through that meat with no problems, no movement, no discomfort, no anything. So I was very, very pleased with those. I did not feel like I needed to check her hair constantly or check her head and make sure that everything was staying in place. Um, so I just want to show you today because my goal is for you to not wear rubber bands in your hair anymore. I have not worn a rubber band in my hair since November. It is now March. So a December, January, February, March, almost four months since I have had a rubber band in my hair. So I like to wear a side braid and that's kind of a go-to get my hair up quick kind of look without doing a ponytail. So I have one in now. I have long, thick, curly hair, so my hair may be a little different than yours, but I think we need more help with our curly hair, right? But this has nothing to do with the texture of my hair. You can do this with any texture. This is my Flitter Bobby Pin. These are available on my website, um, lilarose.biz forward slash Cindy, C-I-N-D-I, more. I'll put that in the comments or in the description or whatever. I don't even know how these videos work, but I'm learning. Um, this is the Flitter Bobby Pin. You can get these as a set or a single and you can mix them to where they um, flip to the right side for you if you want to wear them in your hair so it's not upside down or backwards. They're $5.50 for one bobby pin or $10 for a set of two, okay? So I have this in my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. I have to hold my hair, it's so tight. I don't wanna yank hair out with it. So I'm holding my hair to pull it out. So all I have done I'm not going to go through the whole braiding process because that's not what this is about. This is about you not putting a rubber band in your hair. Let me sit up a little so you can see. Um, my hair has lots of different lengths to it when I wrap it around like this. So when I finish the braid, you see I've got one longer strand here. I kind of like that because I like to have a little curl at the end. So I braid it all the way down to where it's just barely gripping in. And then I'm going to take that longer piece and pull a little piece of hair out. You guys have probably done wrapped ponytails before, right? So you can do this with a ponytail, you can do it with a braid, little hair, big hair, whatever hair you've got. If, as long as it's long enough to wrap, you can do it. Um, so I took a longer piece and I'm simply going to wrap that around the end of my braid. So it is essentially becoming my ponytail holder. You wanna pull it pretty tight so it's not loose. Not a major deal if it is, it's just a braid. This is not like a, you know, modeling gig or anything. We're just getting our hair up, okay? So you see my little tail, I got a little mess right there. That's okay, it's not a big deal because I have curly hair, so don't care. It's all gonna poop up somewhere anyway. Um, okay, so bobby pin. You have the top, front side, that has the ridges there. I want that to be facing my braid and the bobby pin upside down, so my decoration is facing down and backwards, okay? I am going to stick that in at the bottom, or no, actually, I'm gonna go kinda towards the middle, and I'm gonna try to catch that tail. Okay, so I've got it stuck in. Now I'm gonna pause for a second, because I wanna try to catch these little flyaway tails. I don't really care if they stick out, but I'm gonna try to catch them in the beginning. Then I am going to push that up. Whoop, I missed, let's try again. Push it in. I'm not gonna try to catch those tails again because I don't wanna keep you all day. Push that in. Now, don't go too far up because what you're gonna do now is flip. Kinda, I kinda put my thumb back here. Flip it and then push it in. I'm gonna try to catch a little bit of this hair here so I have a good grip on it. 
and just kind of work it in so you're holding that hair I want to hide the stick I didn't do a very good job of that so let's try again this is harder to do on a video than in a mirror so I may have to look down at my hair excuse my double chin okay so let's try it again takes a little practice grab somewhere in the middle of that band that you created now my hair is thick enough that I don't have to open up the bobby. I can just shove it under. If you have very thin hair, you're going to want to open up that bobby first. So I've caught some of that. Now I'm going to flip it over, make sure that hair stays in, and then I'm going to catch it, twist it through the hair, kind of weave it. And now I want it to hide the stick in my hair. It's the best thing I know to call it is a stick, the rest of the bobby, the non-decorative part of the bobby. It's okay if you want to let that show. Some people like to let the bobby pin show and that's fine too. So now I have a nice secure hold on my braid. If you like to widen your braid a little bit, you can do that. Kind of adjust it so it's showing. It's no fun if it's your pretties aren't showing, right? And so there we go. And now it looks like I have something wrapped around my braid. There's the stick sticking out in the back. If it shows, oh well. But that's not coming out. My hair's gonna stay up in that all day. And I do not have a rubber band in my hair. And then when I wanna take it out, I'm done. Now if you want to, if you have loose strands and flyaways, you can take that second bobby and stick it right here so that um, you don't have those loose flyaways. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, if you need help choosing bobbies or colors or anything else or finding my website, let me know. Thanks for watching and have a great, fantastic day. Bye-bye.